Hey guys, I'm gonna try to fix the display on the it's the radio for the E53 model BMW. That's the X5 from 1999 to 2006. I believe the E39. I think that's the 5 series BMW is the same. It has the same problem. So the problem is the ribbon connector that goes bad. I got one here from from eBay that cost me like twenty dollars. This is 2012 right now. I got this one from this guy AK Speedo. Let's see how it works. This one doesn't need glue. Uh, I mean, doesn't need soldering on the contacts. It just touches in you know just by pressure. So let's see how it's gonna be. Okay, I took the radio off. Uh, very easy, you take the button off. Put a T10 screwdriver in here. And you turn, you do like a quarter of a turn. Don't, don't force it too much. It's, it's just that when you turn that, this thing moves in. Oops. So it's a little turn just pressures this thing to, to inside. Alright, so let's start. I'm gonna try to go through his instructions but uh, I have an idea. You need a T8 and a T9 Torx. Mostly the T8 for this. seal because you don't need it anymore. I'm sure the car is out of warranty 10 years later. Okay, always be careful with the screen and the, you know, and the board. You don't want to damage the board. Now it's telling me to unplug this. Easy to just pull, pull off. Okay, remember where they go. Uh, this black rubber thing is on the way. I'll see if I. Okay, just pulled off this thing. So volume knob in the back. Next thing was this little metal thing and the screw right here on, uh, on the right side of the screen looking through the back uh, okay this one yeah they're all the same so you can make no problem left side another little spring uh, oops just fell somewhere okay I'll find it later It 
So this is all loose. Really, huh? Just push it to the right side. Boom! It comes off the board. There we go. I can do the same on the other side, I guess. To push this to the left. Same. Boom. Whole front is off. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so it's telling me to remove this inside screw. Now these are T9s, so be aware. On the right side. There we go, my little friends. That one. Yeah, and I know that's a, a T9 also. Now be careful with the screen because it will be touching the surface. So I'm lifting I'm lifting it off the, the table here. There we go. Three T9s. They all look like the same screws. Right here. Okay, so, so far everything is T8, now these other four screws are T9. Push this, frame is off, same on the other side. Take off this metal things. I guess the little screwdriver is the best idea. Okay. Yeah, I think I got something going on here. Cool. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Look, piece of cake, it all comes off, just make sure you don't bend it. Holes are gonna go to the outside, so be aware. And the one on the screen has a little, uh, a little cut here in the end, so that's the difference, I guess. Bert told me that we gotta take off this this yellow tape here. Dun, 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 dun. Here, you can see. You just pull this, it comes off, it was just pressure. No. Let's take off this rubber thing. Easy gig. Uh huh. Look at that. Beautiful. Metal presses rubber that presses ribbon cable against the board. So no soldering necessary. We just gotta pull the ribbon off the board. Be really careful. I don't care about the ribbon, but you don't want to mess up the board. Okay? There we 
go pretty easy. The tabs on the corners. Keep those together. So there you know this is actually LEDs. This is the backlight of the screen. And the LEDs get power from this cable here. So now we are collecting more and more parts. Screen, uh, board, LCD uh, uh, holder, I guess. Uh, hardware in front. You know, of course, you got a bunch of uh, of screws here. And I got my knob. So basically, it was about what eight eight screws. 8 T8 screws, about 4 T9 screws. Okay, so here's the LCD and the ribbon. Here's the, the board connection. We're gonna have to remove all this glue from the contacts. The tape was a little gooey. Uh, maybe some acetone if I can find, otherwise I'll try something else. Okay, got it in the corner. There we go. Metal clip. Compared to the old one, it's actually, the screen one is actually a little wider and thinner. Next thing, I'm peeling the, the ribbon off the, off the, the rubber. And now we're gonna peel the rubber off. Don't, just be careful not to rip it. There we go. The holes in the metal clip are gonna be facing the front of the LCD, okay? When you put it back. Yay! It looks like a flycatcher, huh? Now we want to peel the ribbon off the screen. Yeah. Right. Carefully. Carefully pull all this out. Okay, so this is how it should look after you remove the tape. Just a clear thing. If you're in the correct light, you can see the little channels there. You see, those are basically transparent and that's, that's where the ribbon is going to touch. You see where the light is? 